Hi, this is Farmer Brad, and now I'm going to go over the hydraulic ram pump that Landa House ended up sending me, and I'm very thankful for it. Uh, if you've never heard of a hydraulic ram pump, what it does is it sends pulses of water um, uphill. So, roughly for every foot of drop, you get about seven feet of lift, but about 80% of the water goes through the pump. Now, my setup. I have a higher pond that is spring fed and it's always flowing into this lower pond. And I would say I have probably about 12 feet of drop. So I think that, that would be perfect uh, for this water system. So let me unbox this and start putting it together. So this is the massive pressure chamber. This actually has a little slightly inflated inner tube in here and what that does is it helps prevent this from getting waterlogged uh, and it's able to push back and uh, be able to uh, help it uh, continue to work. So then this is where the magic happens. This is a um, flapper valve and then this is where the water pushes up out of here but then when it shuts it sends uh, a shock wave through here opens this up pressurizes the chamber and uh, then once the chamber is pressurized enough this will um, cause it to uh, to push to push out so Let's see. Yeah, so actually he already um, put some Teflon tape on here so I can go ahead and screw on the pressure chamber. This is the delivery pipe, and it is one and a fourth inch delivery pipe. And then the flapper valve ends up matching the diameter of the delivery pipe. And then the other thing that's important when setting up the delivery pipe is that you don't want air to get trapped in it. So what I may do is um, cut a pipe that is angled so the water flows in it, but then I may put like a release pipe that as it pushes down, it will release any air uh, that will, um, that might get trapped. It will release the air and then it will continue on down. Um, yeah, so the intake is one and a one and a fourth inch. The delivery, yeah, it's uh, three fourths of an inch is the delivery. Um, and so I have some three fourths inch uh, black irrigation pipe that I will um, connect to here. And what I'll do is I'll thread in uh, a uh, connector that has the barbs on it, and then I'll use uh, clamps. Uh, screw down clamps on there to keep the uh, pipe in place and snug down. So, part of the thing that drew me to the hydraulic ram pump is I don't want to be putting electricity tons of places around my farm. Uh, so, I have eight acres, and and I mean, the setup that I have seems perfect for it because the upper pond is spring fed. The water always seems to be flowing. And so it doesn't really matter that 80% of the water will go, th will spill out of this pump. But um, 
I think that this will keep that IVC tote um, pretty full. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll have an overflow so that when the IBC tote, 250 gallons, is completely full, it will then spill back into the upper pond. Um, so make sure to check out the links below in the description of this video. I'll uh, put links in there uh, where you can uh, buy these from Seth. Um, and they're very good quality. I, I mean, it's top notch what he's able to do here. And you know, originally when I saw his videos about the hydraulic ramp pump, I thought, hey, you know, how about I go out there and buy this stuff? But similar to like my automatic chicken water buckets, it's like this ends up being a complete solution. You don't have to go out there and figure out a whole bunch of stuff. He's already done it for you. So um, make sure to, uh, if you've thought about a hydraulic ram pump, um, get it from him. Uh, he does a great job uh, and they work great. Um, he's also uh, tinkering around and experimenting with uh, different things um, to try to make them more efficient as well. Um, um, Here's the hydraulic ramp pump put together. Uh, next stage is installing it. So um, keep a lookout for these videos uh, and they'll be continuing on. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time.